Hi, this is another instruction video from Hardy. In this next segment, we'll give you some tips on cleaning sprayers. It's good practice to clean the sprayer immediately after use. A clean sprayer is safe, it won't be damaged by residues, it's ready to use, and you avoid crop damage. Cleaning starts by reading and understanding the pesticide label and the sprayer cleaning instructions before you go spraying. Some pesticides require deactivating agents or specific cleaning procedures. And some pesticides are extremely active even at low concentrations. So here cleaning is especially important. This sprayer is fitted with a filling device, a 500 litre clean water tank, flush nozzles, external cleaning equipment and a transfer system for the pesticide. Let's go spraying. I've now finished um, adding the pesticide to the tank and the transfer system should be washed immediately with clean water. I can do this here uh, because I'm filling, as I'm filling uh, the tank it's actually passing clean water to the uh, transfer system. I open all the valves, let it flush, let it drain, turn it off. Now the chem filler is clean and safe. I've just finished the spray job and I need to clean the sprayer. I'll do it in the field where I am now. I could also do it in another suitable area. Let's see what's left in the tank. There's only about six litres left, which is acceptable. If a large amount is left, reduce the liquid returning to the tank. Like, for example, turning off the agitation valve. The pesticide has no specific cleaning requirements, so I'll just follow the instruction manual guidelines. Basically, I just have to flush a sprayer three times. I have 500 litres of clean water in the rinse tank, and I'll start by doing the external cleaning. Don't use more than a third of the rinse tank water. If you want to reduce the water uh, usage, reduce the pump RPM. I now circulate the liquid in the main tank and through all the lines. Give it enough time to circulate before going to the next position. The safety valve should also be forced to open. People usually forget to drain this line out. It usually makes a noise when it opens. It's recommended to increase the speed and halve the pressure when spraying the residues out. I'll repeat the flush procedure with half of the liquid left in the rinse tank. I'll now use the remaining water in the rinse tank and repeat the procedure again. I have now flushed and sprayed the liquid out three times. Let's see what's in the tank. Ah, that looks like a job well done. By cleaning your sprayer correctly, you protect your sprayer, your health, and your crops. We hope that these tips will help you. For other hardy instruction videos, see our YouTube channel.